All right, but hopefully with this, okay, yeah, Leo's running Watt decks. So what am I gonna use for this? I gotta use like that emphasizes light monsters, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so I think for him, well, first of all, you say wherever he decide to migrate to this time, wherever he decide to go. God, I swear to God, like when you're looking at this game blown up on big screen TV, it's sometimes very hard to make out. He's not on the map right now, are you kidding me? Okay, it's very weird. The most I see is Trudge that looks a little like him, but I don't see you say anywhere. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't complain, but that's still kind of weird. Okay. So since Leo is running exclusively light monsters, I need to find a I need a deck that utilizes that or takes advantage of the fact that he can run the lot lock and I can um do some funky things. I don't know. I'm definitely weighing my options. I think I know what to do. <laughs> Holy crap. Do I want to? Do I want to? I think I'm... Oh god, that's so stupid. No, it's the, the Bob, don't do it. it. That is not remotely worth it. No, I think for this one, I'm gonna go with... Bread Maju. Oh god. I think it's time. Alright. Also, the man's back. Every, everything Gucci? Yep. Okay. So I think today I'm going to choose violence. You don't normally? Not to this extent. <laughs> I'm deciding to break out the Gren Maju deck. <laughs> Specifically on the back that Leo is able does have access to the Watt Lock, so theoretically we could use that to stall for a good amount of time. But also, Watts don't have a lot of recursion that they want to go for anyway, so I think this should be pretty decent. Huh. Oh, your mic's unmuted, right? Hmm? Your mic's yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I forget exactly who- Oh, wait, oh my god, this is a- Hold up. Is this the duel against Mina and Trudge? Using L Leo? Yep. And what about against a woman who runs Light Horns? And I'm using a deck that has D-Fizz? Oh, I'm smelling content, boys. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, also this is extreme. Wait, no, it's either that or Lazar's up there. <laughs> either way, this is gonna be extremely funny. So, oh man. Grandmaju, so... There's always been a, a sort of like side niche for uh, heavy banished decks. This one I think I actually did get specifically for this era of uh, synchros, but l it would be much better later on with the advent of a little castle called uh, Gold Castle of Stromberg. <laughs> I don't remember the exact text on the card immediately, but it's something like banish 8 to 10 cards off the top of your deck face down. 10 cards every turn. That was it. And here's a little thing about that. Um, it get Grand Maju gains, I think, five or eight hundred for each 400. banished. Yeah, four hundred for each banished card. What? Yeah, that sounds about right. So as a result, it's getting like four thousand attack every fucking turn. You can guys can add it up pretty quickly. Oh no, this is against Lazar. <laughs> okay, so I chose the correct deck then because Lazar is always gonna be heavy on stun. So it doesn't this doesn't work. I'm gonna go for a more degenerate deck. If it does, actually, wait, no, Chaos Ember Dragon would be perfect against him. Holy crap. However, 400 for each banish card. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's only one of the f first good cards I own. You think I would remember that? I thought my head. Guess not. All right. And who is the partner? Is it Trudge? Proper? Oh. <laughs> How in the world did you. <laughs> this. Okay, so I guess fake. Notably fake Jack Atlas here can <laughs> also has radar smelling of noodles to go go. Of course. I fucking love it. So uh, okay. Especially after fake Jack also became more charismatic and likable than the regular Jack. What I would way to bully Leo and also directed his own feature film movie documentary about himself. <laughs> I love this guy so much. That being said though, be very careful because he will probably pack something stupid like uh not vanity's emptiness, but um, goes in match. So be careful. That's all I gotta say. God. All right, let's party. Thunder King Ryo. Oh, <coughs> ah, yes, my favorite Watt card. That's about how that goes. All right, so I don't know what deck Lozar's on right now. He's probably on the continuous trap card Uriah deck. That's extremely funny. Okay. Defiz up already. And no response. D 
Do you dynamite? Flick 300 damage to your opponent for each of their removed from play cards. DDR. Pod duality. Wait, why can I use pod duality? Oh, because Thunder King rides on the field. Fuck me. Okay, whatever. Okay, reminder, guys. D Fizz, while it's up on the field, any monster. Okay, that was any card badge that immediately goes to the graveyard. Well, I guess this is monsters right now, so that's still fine. Eh, I'm not complaining too much. Jester Lord, get fucked, idiot. Yeah, okay, so I think Thunder King Ryo is keeping me from actually utilizing. The player can add cards from their deck to their hand except by drawing them. Okay, so we got what is basically Thunder, K Thunder King Colossus and D Fizz. I'm already going to get hate mail on Mass Duel for this one. For that matter, I'm probably going to get hate mail for this game already on YouTube. So, you know what? It's, it's all fair. It's all fair game. But hey, man. Literally, as soon as I'm able to rip this fucking pod duality, it's gate. It's go time. Huh. You're really going to rip the Diamond already, kid? Okay, fine. Watch Dragonfly. Hey, anything that... That goes anywhere right now is gonna get banished. That's just very funny. Mirror Force. And bad? Yes. Take a look at this and tell me what game this reminds you of. Or style of game. Uh. You mean the gameplay itself? Yeah. Um, it does kind of remind me a little. A little bit. Of yeah. So, apparently, a trailer came out for that new Bleach mobile game, 3D. Yeah. And. Part of its gameplay looked kind of Musou-y. Yeah. It's still mobile, but that's neat. Yeah. All right. So, Pajuel, let's see what we got. Cyber Valley, Heavy Storm, MST. Um, I think in this case, I'm going to go over Cyber Valley for battle protection. It's going to get very degenerate very quickly, guys. Do not worry about this. Okay. Select one of your roof play monsters by someone in attack position and equip it with card. Right. So, in case we accidentally banish a Grand Maju, we can use that to bring it back. And this deck is so the trick to utilizing this deck is more so you just want to focus on just prolonging it until you get Grand Maju and then you're able to go in pretty hard. Vice Dragon. Um bomb what's that? Fuck you. Sorry, fake Jack. We're not allowed to have fun today. I again I woke up and chose viol violence. Violence. Discord. I'm gonna make sure to not edit in a Discord notes for everyone. I'm not that mean. Oh my god, he also had to hand ripping too? Jesus. Watts are wait, no, there was a recent barrage of Watt support, wasn't there? Right. Kinda sick, not gonna lie. Alright. Go again. Give me Grand Maju. Uh Trap Dust Shoot, good card. Necroface. Okay, I might go for Necroface if I have a way to put it. Cards on someone's shuffle, all removed from play. Cards in the holds on deck. Okay, that's terrible. So what you want to actually want to do is you want to hit this with Gold Sarcophagus. Um, that way you're able to. Well, actually, when cards removed from play, bet, uh, both players move the top. Will play the top five cards from their deck. Actually, maybe that's a good hit for right now. Um, uh, that because I go sound the field. If it gets attacked, I can just instantly uh proc its effect to banish five off the top, <coughs> which will only do. But yeah, fuck it, we're. We're doing we are doing that. Hmm. Uh yeah. I'm not in a rush. I mean I am because it's getting pretty late right over here, but still. Meaning piece golem. Oh yeah. Torrential? Actually, yes. Necroface kicks in. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and I gotta grab Maju in the in the banish pile now. Which you guys might know what that means. Did I say that correctly right now? I think I did. Okay. Hmm. Again, this is a very stupid deck that's only going to get you uh, hated by a lot of people. So be very wary of this power, guys. True nade. Actually, that's perfect. I just ran out of space anyway. Jester Queen. I don't think it does anything too relevant. Exactly. There's oh, oh my god. There's some DNR card, I forget what it's called, Muka Muka, that gets you an extra 400 or 600 attack for it for every card in your hand. You should make that deck. Really? Yes. Huh. It's funny in the same way this sort of deal is funny. Yeah, true. Okay, so unfortunately I need one more card for DDR to be alive, and I do not have, quite have that functionality as of yet. 
All right, we're going to take out the Jester Queen. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, does Jack have any plays? This Set card, card pass. 300 attack and defense for each card in your hand. d is alive again. Nice. The level 2 rock with 600 attack. Torrential for the single fucking card? Okay. That was a horrible idea, fake Jack Android person, man. All right. Lazar, I need you to exactly not do something dumb like anti-spell fragrance. I said please. Actually, that's fine. All right. Uh, DDR. My, uh, I love that game. Actually, God, you might want to look at this, man. This is going to be a big fucking card. Oh, boy. All right. And here comes the boy. Oh, 4,500? All right. It's only your cards. Yep. Which is still pretty, pretty handsome. That's a pretty good number. Now, if I still have DD, uh, a stupid trap card in the field, yeah, DD Dynamite, I could rip it and kill him right now, but that is not what happened. You should also make a deck for, is it Widespread Ruin or Blasting the Ruins, which is if you have 30 or more cards in your graveyard, deal 3,000 point, uh, points of damage. I'm not sure. Just gimmick, just gimmick after gimmick after gimmick deck. Dude, okay, so I'm gonna be real here. My, my whole ethos of the way I've been making decks recently is and given the limited scope of tag force, I want to show off as many cards as I can. And that shows exactly why they are fucking banned. But I want my these Let's Plays also be a bit of a history lesson for everyone involved. Yeah, if there are 30 or more cards in your graveyard, and inflict 3,000 points of damage to your opponent's life point. Blasting the ruins. Actually, for tag force, it's pretty easy to reach, isn't it? Just, yeah, especially in a tag duel. You just put... You just, you just put that in Wait. your existing mill deck. My man just fucking double ripped this. That's hilarious. Okay, hold up. So the issue here, unfortunately, is that when Grand Maju uh, ha had DDR swept out from underneath it, it went to the graveyard, not the banished pile, unfortunately. Highlight his trap card. What, this thing? Let's test your Chinese. Do you know how to pronounce that? Jing Shen Hu? You were the only person I have ever heard in my entire life say that card correctly. Congratulations. Hey, well, it does help. I do. I do work with a lot of Chinese people, so I, I, I'm proud of this fact. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, wait, that's lethal on board. <laughs> I don't need to do anything. That's that, that uh, fat ass uh, Gren Maju did the trick. I keep looking at him. I want him to voice my Frieza. I know, right? It, j it just works. Although two on the nose, honestly. As Ryu said, Nikau played any Yu-Gi-Oh. Probably. <clears throat> All right, so at the rate we're going, we have one more duel to go with Yusei, which is good. I think we still have two more to go with Aki. We're making good progress, but I do got to hit the accelerate button a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and Trudge was here though. <laughs> I, I forget exactly what's going on. I think Trudge is just choosing to look the other way. And because Lazar was the one being a dipshit here. You were gonna love this. Shoot. In Yu-Gi-Oh! 98, or Season 0, he played a character known as Trump Bomber. <laughs> Frieza did. Yes. Oh, wow, okay. I'm gonna keep looking, but that's the very first one that showed up. You just woke up? That's not a healthy way to live. Okay, Aki, I, I love you, but do not be judging my late sleeping in. At some, some of us just work late chips. Yeah, I do. What's your excuse for waking up at 3 p.m.? <laughs> I'm a busy boy doing this shit. <laughs> Alright, hockey again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to show off a stupid deck for this one. Because again, t her types are too varied to really reliably do anything that's not a stupid, horrible gimmick. So I'm thinking, what are we gonna do for this one? Oh, I want to so badly. Ben K. <laughs> I'm feeling confident that we can make this one work. Uh, L2. And... Stage two. And I think the last one for her is going to be a last turn. I'm, I'm going to try to keep Aki to be the one that we use the gimmick decks for and the other ones for the actual series decks. So what way we can get out of here quicker. You're doing last turn? Not right now. Ah. 
All right, uh, something or other, this girl named Tasha is very grumpy and not good with people, so <laughs> we gotta go beat the hell out of her. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Right? Man, what is everyone's damage? Why does everyone keep mean girl saying Aki? I don't know. 2010 view of high school girls wasn't the best, I guess. Eh. See, I would say it's probably something to the effect of she's getting bullied by, uh, by these losers because, uh, because she's popular or because she has a giant rack, but seemingly so does everyone else. I also love how it's just constantly Aki, the one that's the most popular for some inane reason. For some reason? Yeah. Serious. Aki, uh, the most popular I mean, for grand, some reason. I mean, granted, she's gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but like, I like how it's just the, the same trope in like, the manga and the anime both times, I think. They're not even leaning on our... Uh, her psychic power is scaring the hell out of everyone. Yeah. I mean, granted, they already sort of did that, but that does, still, that, that seems does, like something that should be followed up on. That does make me think that this might be more after uh, the zone battle. Um, Ooh, that's good. Zone wouldn't have been... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, yet. but like... I, I'm, Captain Gold? Oh yeah, she runs E-Heroes, I think. Huh. So I theoretically made a good choice. Also, yeah, Captain Gold. Never thought you'd see this card before, huh? Side note. No, I know what, exactly what that is. It's from the GX era of Field Searchers slash Beaters. Yeah, I know. Aki, did you just use Heat on Tama? She did it before, too. Did she? Oh, my. No, she used it against us. I didn't think she was going to use it against them. Holy crap. Really? Oh, boy. Is this pink haired uh, girl one of the worst designs for the NPCs? Uh. So, model, yes. Portrait, I don't think so. Oh, my God. She's worse than the recolors. Wait, oh great, my God! Great Shien Shogun. Uh, you know what? Never mind. She's a winner. Great Shogun Shien is not once per. I didn't realize that. She's a keeper, and she's about to fucking kill us. So it's. Uh, have you ever read Great Shogun Shien before? Not in a long time. I'll I'll let you read this really fast. You control two or more six samurais. You can special summon naturally. Okay, so it's twelve troll. You can only activate one spell or trap card per turn, well, shouldn't be. If this card be destroyed, you can destroy another. Okay. Uh, so it's protection on top of a free 25 and a one turn back or destroyer. No, uh, actually, reread that a little more closely. Your opponent can only activate one spell or trap oh. card each turn. This thing will lock you out of the game so fucking quickly. Um, honestly, you had me at fall troll. Even if it had no other effect, if it was just a free 25. Oh, I totally agree with you. Um, I think I'm gonna have to snatch steal uh the Grandmaster. Hopefully, so it has the attack buff on it. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's the way out. Feel the Shogun she and uh, turn that shit against them. No, because then it's just gonna blow itself up. I'm gonna use this to go uh, net uh more net positive over the course of a couple turns. Yeah. Okay. So still got the attack buff. That's good. So from here, does Prem only work on your side or does it work on their side too? Uh, it only works on my side, from my graveyard. But that mm -hmm. being said, again, there's still one more of the Shein's show. I can't really do too much else. I guess I'll... Yeah, set Kotetsu and pass. Do we have the Synchro yet? No, that's actually Tag 4 6. Mm. As well as the Swarm of Legendary 6 Samurai. So, yeah, th that, the next game is going to be easy mode. Like, front to back. The one with the coolest name ever. I, I feel like I remember exactly of what you're talking about. Death uh, do metal or something. Wait. Oh, damn it. Wait. What? She and she and mean uh, she and means blue flame. She and means death flame. Yup. Uh, let's see. Do I want to have no? Let's get up. Uh... What the heck is this again? So this is Ben K. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh yep. Uh Ben Gay. Let's go with the United We Stand. That's probably a good one for right now. And goats. You summon that Bengal tiger. I don't remember which one that is. We got goats. What do we? Jesus. Wait, what quick play spell was? Oh my God. Wait, no, that's the that's the one with the the. This is where I study the Japanese eye runes. I <laughs> gee. Where the Japanese study the Yu-Gi-Oh rulings with their ancient Japanese eye memes. That's how it went. Alright. Well, theoretically, if I was playing um, Formula Synchron, I could get it right now, but uh, new. No. Fuck should... me. 
I should know all these gags. I uh, rewatched the whole series this week at work. Holy shit. Uh, There's you're going to misplay. I'm not able to touch my phone, so I need a long running playlist. No, nah, that's fair. But you know what? Only a handful of the real early ones don't hold up all that well. Yeah, it's just the like his, his, really do. his early countdowns don't hold up. But most others still do hold up pretty damn well. He has this problem, at least at the time, of I need to be both very fast and tell a lot of jokes. If I'm not telling at least two jokes per minute, I'm not, I'm not doing YouTube effectively. To be fair, that was the, kind of the that mentality of the time, also, yeah. What? And even on people that were doing that, he still stands head and shoulders above the rest of the of uh, that crowd of humor. Oh, by leaps and bounds, absolutely. It's the same way why I say that there hmm. are some people whose videos are actually old, old enough to have children, that actually hold up better than some modern content. Yeah, like. Uh, even if, even if apparently he's kind of a douche, I will still uh, stick by Omega forever because he has videos that date back to 2007 that hold up better than some modern uh, get, uh, Annie Game Cooper's content. Yep, and because it had personality to it, that's really what it was. All right, let's see. Um, I got Ben K. I got one axe of this bear. I'll take it to 1500. I go I got an extra attack. Um, I do. Let's see. Excuse me. Um, all face of low four higher monsters. Uh, yeah. Is it a three? It's a four. Damn it. So it's more meant to stun until you're able to search up uh, Ben K. It's more meant to be the payoff. Uh, I mean, I guess if I were to just do this, it, it, they'd be stunned for a fucking while. But do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that. So when we get to special, are you going to upgrade this into big Ben K? Well, which one would that be? Sorry if I'm being a plebeia right now. I don't know what you're really referencing. Ooh. Oh, I don't need to do worry about shit. Axe of Despair. Oh, Super Heavy. I don't know shit about Super Heavies. Unfortunately. Nah. I know. Sorry to be bo uh, too boring. You just reminded me that we are going to have to at least make a pit stop back into a regular regular legacy when we get to Link Evolution. Why so? Because before the DLC came out, the only two duels, the, I'm sorry, the only one duel that existed in not Arc 5, just Pendulum, as it was called. Oh, yeah. Was uh, a duel of Yuya against the Gungensuka. But that game didn't have Super Heavy Samurai because Ace Monster is Super Heavy Samurai Big Ben K. They just had him play a regular Ben K deck. Huh, interesting. Like, ah, uh, you Ooh. really stretched there, ain't you? Ooh, I got a big hit. Oh, you got fucked. Nope. They got fucked. <laughs> okay, I know this isn't great considering that I also am going to take that damage, but considering uh, the alternative, I'll, I'll gladly take this. Wait, really? <laughs> what? How? Five six bow damage to your opponent. You're supposed. To... I don't. Oh, skyscraper, right? Yep. It gives like 700. No, it gives 800 during damage calc only. Right. Fuck. All right. Well, we got level a little bit area B, so we're good for a bit. All right. Monkey. Wait, what just hell just did fucking 500 damage to me? Mine protect. Mine protector. Uh, it says. Uh -oh. It says pay 500. Ew. So. Yeah, we're, we're washed. Is that a tuner? Can we stink? No, this deck doesn't have tuners in it because it's from GOAT format. Have you considered making modifications? I have, and I don't know how exactly I would go about doing that. Oh, hey. You would just put in uh, regular non-archetypical uh, non tuners that just provide uh, generally useful buffs. Like you would put yeah, in like Plague Spreader and whatnot. Baylor. So this is empty in the hand? Yes. Um, is that what you want? In theory, it will be far better than waiting for uh, Kotex to be hit. If I set everything first, this is actually going to be more effective. Go ahead, swing into it. God damn, you're on the ball with that. He's making more effective use of heroes than Jaden ever did. Which is funny because she's. Seemingly exclusively only using manga heroes. 
which I can appreciate. Yeah, the manga heroes do have a. It, it's funny because actually, e heroes do have a pretty fucking big presence during pretty much the entirety of Synchro. It's not gonna lie. That's because the manga was still printing in America at the time, so they were getting new manga cards on a relatively frequent basis. And the manga fusions, especially, were better than anything that ever came out of the anime. Wait, the skyscraper not once per turn? No. Oh, okay. It, it, she just didn't activate yet. Hit. But you know, things, uh, things like Absolute Zero, Great Tornado, The Shining, what have you, all of those are uh, the manga fusions, and they're way better than anything Jade never summoned in the anime. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so there's, a bunch of, there's two Shinings on the field right now, but we have a lot of materials to work with right now. Like the whole back row I set beforehand, and I have Ben K plus a bevy of other fuck, of uh, other cards we can use that next turn. Now it's just a matter of if uh, Aki is able to keep us alive until then. I don't like those odds necessarily, but hey, I'm, I'm a little optimistic. They left the 1900 out against the 29, so that's better not than what's before. Starting great. Thousand, take that. Okay, no burn. Okay, cool. Look what we got. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. This is gonna be good. Okay, act of despair. <sighs> you know, actually... Her, her back row is gonna have some shit. You know it will. You are very correct. But do I want to give up the one... Yeah, I want I want to give up Rarl. Fuck it. Yeah, getting our Benkei for later, later on. Hell yes. What uh, you lose is nothing compared to what they lose. I'm a little paranoid right now. Yeah, let's keep this as the dual one. Okay. Theoretically, I would have stormed first. I have stated. United we stand. All right, check out how big these numbers are gonna get. By the way. Oh yeah. Book. Exactly. Wait. You summoned it this turn. You won't be able to get it back. Yeah, that's fair. Well, that's why I saved it. I wasn't exactly sure if I could get away with that Scott free, but I guess not. Okay. What are you hitting? Wait, that just makes it easier for me. It's because she doesn't want to take any theoretical battle damage. I guess. Yeah, I would stand. This is a good, this is going to be big damage, but this will be enough, I guess. 23, that clears this, that clears this. You want to go for shining. I can hit if both. It, no, 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 because... No, 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 I'll hit both. It, ben K gets an additional attack for every spell equipped, spell equipped to it. Okay. Oh, I guess that has a third one. Cool. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to play. an additional one for each equip. You have two equips. Oh, against additional, two, against, against right. two more attacks. Right. No wonder. Makes sense, though. The crackback is going to suck dick. Mm. Well, I... No, that's, that's still fucked. Does Mage Power count her side, too? No. Damn it. I know, right? All right. Set literally... God damn it. Are we live? Okay. Um. That tomato. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Play defensive for a turn or two. See what you can scrounge up. Yeah. Oh god. A lot of oh. beaters here, Jesus. You know what? That's better. Honestly, I thought she was about to Wait. use uh, the second effect to uh, get rid of our uh, mirror force. Oh, that was an attack. I thought it would love you. Well, I got Mirror Force, that's good. I thought Sange would, would give me the option to put a defense position. I always forget Mrs. Commando does his attack immediately, so oops. And we theoretically gave her we gave her material. Oh yeah, cool. Also Sange will trigger for her too. Yeah. Enjoy that. Very good. Very good. Also, if you look at the OCG artwork, uh It's doing a salute. It's doing a very close to a Nazi salute, yeah. Alright. And we're and we're getting our life points back. We are slowly. Tasha's the one playing E heroes, I think. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. There we are. What is the other monster? Um. The other, the other one. So that's Kotetsu. Okay. On flip, it lets me search a equip spell from the deck. That's needed for a Benke. Yeah, I just set that one in the, in the deck. Yes. That is the exact idea. I, there's no flip E heroes or no six Sam's out to worry about. So we're good there. Yeah. There's Worst case scenario, we just stall and get our life back. Not necessarily the strategy you want to lean on, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're using Neos? Okay. 
so Neos Knight is one of the promo cards from Bonds Beyond Time. Because it was fused huh. with because it was fused with one of you say synchros. Because Neos Ooh. can contact with anything. Yeah, I just didn't expect that. It, it's from a time where they were trying uh snatch steal her uh That's the idea. What are you doing? Woman, what are you doing? Uh please be something good in that back row. Uh well. Alright. What were you trying to do there? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'll just set defense position and you're good. Okay. Use of uh, the multitude of parable GX era decks in a way that's at least kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> right, and, and you so don't have all the synchros yet, so you have to rely on the shining and ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, so my hope with there. So I made a very funny deck. I'm trying to actually do something that I've not actually been able to do yet in this playthrough, which is actually summon five-headed dragon for no fucking reason. You'd also, because it's just very funny. But genuinely, it's... in this case, I think it would actually be good for clearing skyscraper and the Neos cards. You just need to. You really love that Hinotama. You just have to draw into Dragon's Mirror. Dragon's Mirror or literally Future Fusion. Hey, now we're actually starting to the bad. Damn it. And then the removal will happen. Oh my oh God, my. Gaia. <laughs> I don't know if I would have ripped the guy for that one, but that's just me. Okay. Um, wait, hang on. I can make this work. What are you trading in? Uh, I can't trade in any of them. Actually, Light and Target Dragon might be probably for the best to sack off right now. It is really good, um, but I have no real real way of accessing it right now, so this is better. And then how it be worse, actually. Hold up. Yo, well, hold on a sec. Wait a minute! What? Are they kind of just blue eyes in the hand? <laughs> Not that. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Well, you got what you wanted. I got my wish. I sure as fuck did. <laughs> oh, I'm fully my Twitch chat. We're here right now. Well, good luck. See, now if we did like an end of year clip compilation or something, this would uh, be the highlight. Like, I really gotta start doing clip. YouTube shorts because this is absolutely beyond there. This monster copy special summon. Cards not take any battle damage and cannot be destroyed by battle with an earth, wind, fire, wind, or... Just one does that have that effect. Well, it's not, like, it's not good, but... Christ on the bike, okay. That thing had effect protection until, uh... Whew. The, until the five... <laughs> until the five these eras. The battle protection... This is as good as it gets, aside from just can't be destroyed at all. Yeah. Also, this is an early, uh, DM card, too. This is from, like, 2000. Okay. Oh yeah, no. Uh, uh, going with the goat format deck. Yeah, it's not doing shit. Five headed dragon slapped its cock on the field. Oh yeah, you got it. Okay, cool. I, I see how it is, guys. It's five cocks, as it were. Five. <laughs> Wait, you have you have reference for this now? The literal just King Ghidorah plus two more heads. Yeah, I thought you were gonna go somewhere else. Where else would I have gone with that? You've heard the many jokes about a kid, now, right? Oh, four dicks. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, that's not what my well, my mind doesn't immediately go to a kid in the dicks, personally speaking. But I see. Mine wouldn't either. But I've heard people st uh, st uh, say that joke so many times. Really? I haven't. Some things just stick with you. I blame some common genres community. We have a lot of Sonic people. That's true.